The best part about research is the creativity. And I get to come up with these ideas, test them, and show whether or not they're right or wrong. That's the part about science I really love. I think it's having an attitude of looking for the unexpected. So when I see patients, I'm helping that patient, that family sitting in front of me. When we do research, we are helping millions, hopefully, into eternity. We really have a, an ability to make things happen. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of productivity, a lot of interaction. People are coming up with new ideas. There are 160 or so principal investigators running laboratories in the Research Institute. We cover almost every disease area that's being seen at the Cleveland Clinic. It's an environment that you think you can really make a difference in. The research mission of the Cleveland Clinic has been in existence since its founding. The idea that teams could come together and better treat patients with their own individual expertise. Research begins to answer what the cause of the problems are and better approaches to it. And then it goes back to the bedside and treating the patient. Any effective research these days, as well as patient care, is multidisciplinary. We have the laboratory-based investigators who are scientists or engineers, and then they are interacting very heavily with the clinical investigators and the clinicians, each one of them brings something different to the table. And their interactions can lead to synergy and also acceleration of the timing it takes to go from a very basic discovery right through to a new drug or a new device. Things that in other places that I have been would take months or years, sometimes take simply days. That means that we are positioned here at the Learner Research Institute to really make a difference. There's a world-class research institution right across the street, a world-class patient care institution, and they all work together where everyone's pulling in the same direction. I've never been in a center like this before. You know, it's something you take for granted when you're here is the really tight collaboration between scientists and clinicians and the ability to take some of our technology and our research questions, answer them in the lab and then to immediately translate them and ask those same questions and test them in patient populations. We've embarked on studies where we say, okay, we think to study this right, we need to look at it in 10,000 people. That's probably a no starter at a lot of institutions. But here, there's a, actually a culture of encouraging you, make the difference, make it happen. Having these integrated translational research programs, that's what the strength of the Cleveland Clinic and the Learner Research Institute is all about. If you really want to change patients' lives, they don't get changed by reading a paper. They get changed by having a device or a therapy or a test. Here at the Cleveland Clinic, we have a perfect situation where we have PhD engineers working alongside, not for, but alongside physicians. It's a partnership of equals. Our culture of, of collaborative, interactive research greatly facilitates this model of, of moving a discovery forward. We have people who work on understanding mechanisms of disease on a genetic and cellular level. We have artificial heart programs. You know, we have mechanical engineers designing and building things. The innovation occurs where fields collide. And so where you have people in different fields and different areas, even just talking, um, the knowledge grows exponentially. The education mission of the Cleveland Clinic is very central. The Cleveland Clinic has got two great graduate programs. First of all, we have the Cleveland Clinic Learner College of Medicine. This is the most innovative medical school in the country. The focus on research is what really makes this program unique. The other unique program we have is the Molecular Medicine PhD program. 
this complements our medical school in that we integrate medical knowledge into basic science training. This allows the scientists to make the vital connections with the clinicians to work on translational and diagnostic medical issues. The medical school and the PhD program are really emphasizing that idea that there, we have to have connections between basic and clinical scientists. As a scientist, you want to have people in the next labs and across the street at the clinic as excited about your research as you are. The world of science is so complex that, and it moves forward so quickly, you can't work in isolation. There's a real sense that you have to work together, and by doing that, you learn other people's techniques, other people's ideas, and innovation falls from that naturally. There's a philosophy and a culture that encourages the development of innovative and novel things. The bottom line is how to improve patient care and the outcomes of people's lives. We can say to our patients, we're doing our absolute best to make a difference in your lives.